so far we have seen that uh, in dynamic programming algorithm uh, there was the issue of computational complexity so uh, we have uh, larger sequences and um, if we have more than two or th more than three sequences uh, then it becomes uh, practically impossible to do or apply dynamic programming approach approaches to this multiple sequence analysis problem so carillo and lipman in 1988 uh, they came up with an alternative algorithm uh, basically uh, they label it as uh, MSA algorithm and then there is a software MSA uh, in which this algorithm has been implemented uh, it's a heuristic algorithm uh, remember guys in heuristic algorithms as we have talked earlier uh, you can get the quick solutions uh, that may not be the exact or the most optimal solutions but you can have uh, your your the purpose of uh, your work is served more or less so this uh, algorithm was presented uh, in order to reduce the search space in dynamic programming and uh, as we discussed it's implemented in MSA program it assumes that the score of multiple sequence alignment is the sum of the scores uh, of all pairwise alignment so there is uh, a sum of pair or SP method uh, that has been implemented in this algorithm So let's go and uh, try to understand the sum of pair method with this example. Uh, for example, we have four sequences. Uh, these are uh, amino acid sequences. Uh, we have protein sequences like E, C, S, Q, S, N, S, G, S, W, K, N. Uh, we have S, C, S, N. So how many pairwise compar comparisons we can have if we have four sequences? So we see that there are six pairwise comparisons uh, if we uh, we remove the duplicate comparison so we can compare sequence 1 with 2 uh, 1 goes with 3 1 goes with 4 same way 2 goes with 3 and 4 and then uh, 3 and 4 they are compared so in this way total we have six possible comparisons if we have four sequences so here is how this sum of pair method has been implemented so we uh, do pairwise comparisons so we we take for example first comparison uh, where I have one to two sequence one and two they are aligned with one another so on sequence one uh, we have e and that is matched with s so that is actually a mismatch so we get a score of zero uh, remember here guys we are actually consulting those substitution matrices so these scores are coming from those matrices actually so e substituted by s we get a zero and then we have this C and N in, in the next column or the next position so when we are doing this multiple sequence alignment uh, we take each position as a column so in the second column we have a mismatch again and the score is minus four and then we have SS there is a match so we get a plus two so plus scores are scores are high if we get the matches and for the mismatches we need to consult the matrix and then QG uh, we get a minus one same way we do that for one and three and one and four and rest of them and in the end we get those columns all together and we get a summation of the scores for the whole column so for example for column number one we get a sum of score that is equal to six in column number two uh, we get the score that is equal to negative 16 column three you get minus six and column four uh, you get three so in general this algorithm can be summarized into these following steps so we create a phylogenetic tree from the sum of the pair scores we do this sum of pairing as we did in the previous example in the last slide and then we come up with a phylogenetic tree then we produce a draft alignment built incrementally from the tree so we do this sum of pair scoring and then we make up a tree and then from the tree we get again draft multiple sequence alignment and the pairwise alignments and the draft MSA then circumscribe a solution space within which we can do a, or embed or implement a dynamic programming search uh, here is the page of this software MSA it's written as the form for multiple sequence alignment so where you can have do your optical alignments uh, you can do you can uh, adjust the gaps and you can assign the weights and there are multiple options you can look into it in your homeworks uh, you'll be asked to do something similar so this is the web page for this algorithm
So we see that uh, due to high running uh, time of dynamic programming algorithm, uh, we came up with an alternative by the help of Carrillo and Lipman and this algorithm MSA is an alternative to this dynamic programming approach uh, which has been implemented in the MSA program.